Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be going over using the character appearance and dissolve effect on your characters. Uh, specifically, I'm for the video, I'm going to be making it so that when your enemy dies, it'll take effect like this. And this was a free of the month asset a while back. And I think these look super cool, especially for like a sci-fi game. Yeah, they look great. And you can change the color of any of these, so don't worry about the effect too much. And let's get started. So for the purpose of this video, I made the ACF melee enemy. I went to the statistics and set the HP to one just to test it whenever it dies and it just gets one shotted. And I set my sword to do 500 damage, as you can see here for the base damage set to 500. And now when you go into your character appearance dissolve folder and go to materials, I'll do standalone. You can see different types of materials. And now I'm going to go to my enemy blueprint that I have set. And in the event graph, what I'm going to do first is just go ahead and do a on character death. And if you're using ACF, then what you want to do is look for the on owner death. On owner death using the damage handler comp. So I'll just click here and then click this plus icon next to the on owner death. And the first thing I'm going to do is disable movement. Um, this will pretty much just stop it from doing that weird magnetizing thing. If you already did this to your parent in the last video I showed, then you don't need to do this. But I'm just showing an extra step just in case. And now what I'm going to do is set two timer by function names and just connecting them together. So let's do, for example, that this one I'll do at 3.5 seconds after it dies. And this one will be at five seconds. And I want the first one to start taking that material. And basically, whenever it completely fades out, it'll loop and fade back in. And I don't want that. I just want to fade out and stay like that. So in order to just do that, I'm going to destroy the actor when it hits that five second mark. So I'll create a function and I'll call this something like set material function. And what this is going to do is just set material on the mesh. And I'll select one of the appearances. So in this case, I want to try, I think 10 was a really cool one. Yeah. So this one, I, I kind of like how it just fades out and it looks like it's melting kind of. And you'll see that element index is zero. And that's because when I go over to the mesh of my character, it actually has two elements. I don't want it to just do it for one. I want it to do it for the whole mesh. So I'm going to copy paste this, drag this in, and you'll see that the element index zero is by default zero. And you want to set it to one. And that's because when we go over to our mesh, you're going to see that it has an element zero material and an element one. So we'll set both of them just so it times together or both materials will be set to this so it'll fade out equally. And now in the destroy actor function, it's just going to plug into a destroy actor node and just make sure that it's set. And now what I'm going to do is on my event graph, both of the set timer by function nodes, I'm going to set this one to three seconds and this one to five seconds. And you're just going to plug in the name, make sure the set material function is in first before it destroys the actor, because once the actor is destroyed, you can't do anything with it and it goes away from the game. And it is also good to destroy your actors for for performance measures. And I'll set this to something like three, something like this one. And so I'll set this one to three seconds and then I'll destroy the actor after five seconds. And then I'll make sure I can disable the movement. When I tried putting disable movement first, um, for some reason it would just play this instantly and not wait the three seconds. So I decided to just put this at the end. I believe this is still going to work regardless because both of these timers will be registered and do the countdown while it's disabling the movement immediately. And if you want to play with your material, you can just go over to that material and the lower you set this number to, the slower it is. By default, this is set to 0.2. And I also changed my value to one and zero. Initially, it is zero to one, but we don't want it to go from invisible to, we don't want it to go from not showing to showing. We want it to go from it, the mesh is fully shown to fading out in this case. So we're dissolving it in this case. And then you can also select whatever color you want. So you can do purple. I guess I'll just leave it as purple and this, and then I'll hit apply. And now when I go over to my full map and destroy this enemy character, so he's kind of fading out the wrong way. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So it seems like this ACF function on owner death is not functioning correctly for me. So I just changed it to event on character death. 
I disable the movement and then I set these material functions. And now when I go ahead and compile and save and hit play and attack it, it'll disable the movement, wait three seconds, and then it fades out and it destroys the actor. So we'll never see it fade in again. Thanks for watching. Code with Zero. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.